18 people die each day waiting for an organ. More than 122,000 people need a life-saving organ. Every 10 minutes, another name is added to the list. In 2012, there were only 14,000 organs donated, all short of the many needed. A lot of people wonder about the cost of donating an organ. It is free to donate, but for receivers, it has very expensive meds. But before you can worry about the cost, you will have to get past the waiting list. It can take many years to finally get your organ, and 18 people die each day waiting on the list. Although there is a chance for rejection, it is only a 25% chance that it will actually happen if you take your meds. I read the story, Taylor's Gift, by Todd and Tara. This book is connected to organ donation because, in the book, Taylor dies and her parents have to make the tough decisions whether to donate her organs or not. I interviewed Martin Haas on organ donation. He received a kidney a few years back and he's here to talk to us about it. I'm interviewing a person to say about organ donation. Uh, when, uh, where was I born? Where was I when I was born? When and where were you born? I was born in uh, 1968 in Schenectady. Okay. Um, when did you first find out? Uh, I found out it was sort of an ongoing process. My kidneys were failing. I found out my kidneys were failing back so probably about 14 years before or so. I got my transplant actually. 12 maybe actually. Uh, how long was the wait for the senior organ? Uh, well, I, I started on the wait list about a year and a half before I actually got the transplant. I didn't go on to dialysis till about six months before my transplant. Actually, five months before my transplant. And what is di dialysis? Dialysis is where they uh, take the blood, they actually stick needles into your arm. Okay, you can see I've got a fistula still, and that vein is extra large. Mm -hmm. So they make that vein extra large so they can use very large needles into that. They put two needles in. One to take the blood out, goes through a machine, cleanses it, purifies it, takes some water off, and then puts it back into my body, uh, all cleaned up. The idea of dialysis is it takes the extra fluids out of my body that aren't normally being processed by my kidneys, and it also takes the impurities out as well. So, uh... What was your prognosis if you would have failed, failed to find a donor? Uh, more dialysis. <laughs> dialysis, uh, and you can live on dialysis for a long time, but it's an uh, it's, oh, extra amount of work. It's dangerous for your body. It's a lot of stress on your body, and people on dialysis can live a long time, and some do die because of the stress it brings to your body. Yeah. Uh, was, it, was it a difficult process to apply for an organ? Actually, it was very simple. Uh, most, mostly everything was taken care of for me by the doctors in the Oregon Transplant Center. Mm -hmm. uh, I went there, fill, filled out a little bit of paperwork, talked to them, and they interviewed me, made sure I was in good health, and I was a, a productive, helpful type of person in society that would benefit the most from a transplant. Because there's only so many organs out there. They try to make sure that they're going to go to people that are going to take care of the organ and that will be very helpful to society in general. Uh, have you experienced any complications since receiving your new organ? Um, no, I haven't had any rejections and you know, issues. Uh, I'm taking anti-rejection drugs every day. Uh, I have to take my medicines three times a day. It's not too bad. Uh, the only negative, real negative side effect is a little bit of tingling in my fingertips. It's called neuropathy. Mm -hmm. It's not unheard of for people on the anti-rejection medications. Uh, were you allowed to know the identity of the donor? <laughs> Or is it kept? It's kept confidential. Okay. Uh, when receiving an organ, are you given the medical history of the donor? Uh, you're given a small medical history if you ask for it. I asked for it and got a slight medical history. It does not give you a whole deep history of anything, but it tells you that they're you know, clean of drugs. They didn't have drugs. They weren't uh, alcoholics or smokers and stuff like that. They give you a general but they don't tell you every specific thing. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel now since receiving your new organ? I feel fantastic. Has receiving an, or an organ now caused you to want to be a donor yourself? Oh yeah, I've always wanted to donate. Um, before I got transplanted, I was a, an organ and tissue donor in case anything happened to me. Yeah, I couldn't give a kidney, mm -hmm. but I could give other things, uh, skin, um, bone marrow, a lot of other things. Um, but I Yeah. 
what would you want to say to someone who is maybe considering becoming an, or an organ donor? Uh, do it. It's a great thing to do. Helping other people. Um, hopefully, they help other people, and it all goes around, and we end up uh, helping each other and making this a better world. And if you were able to talk to uh, the person who donated you an organ, what would you say to them? I would say, uh, God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, it's been quite a blessing for me and my family uh, and those around me. And uh, if there's anything I can ever do, uh, if you can find a way of letting me know and asking for it, I'd definitely uh, be willing to help. And I'll help other people as well going forward. Okay, well, that's all the time we have, so thanks for coming. Thank you for coming.